Namaste and welcome to day 22 of 30 days of AppRight. Today's episode is all about AppRight's very own CLI. What makes a developer tool awesome is the ecosystem of all the tools that are built around it. And AppRight is focused to build a great ecosystem of tooling and with a great developer experience. On that regards, we decided to build the AppRight CLI. Like any other AppRight services, the AppRight CLI itself is also built on top of Docker. So you only need Docker in order to run AppRight CLI. Installing AppRight is super easy as running one command. In today's episode, we will install and test the AppRight CLI ourselves. So if we go on to the official docs, AppRightIO docs slash command line, we can see the installation instruction. So for Mac OS or for Linux, we can use the same bash script for installation. Whereas for Windows, we can use the PowerShell script in order to install. I'm on Linux machine. Let me open up a terminal. Let me copy this installation script and paste it to my command line here. Tap enter. Now, we should be able to install AppRight CLI. So welcome to AppRight CLI install, getting system info, OX Linux, ADM64 requires root true, performing checks, checking if Docker is installed. So it's giving green light, it's pulling the Docker image for AppRight CLI. It might take some time. Okay, done, done, setting permissions. Now we want to copy the temporary file to bin so wrapping up installation cleaning up in order to verify the installation is correct you can just run upright version so right now we were unable to load the preference first we need to set up our cli so let me quickly set up the upright server instance locally running in my computer upright cli is also automatically generated from the Swagger spec from our SDK generator like any other SDKs of AppRight. And it features all the powerful features of server-side SDKs of AppRight and the functions and methods are in sync with server-side SDKs so that it's very easy to get started with AppRight CLI. So I have a local instance of AppRight running here. So let me get in. I'm running 0.8 version, which is just recently announced. You can also install the latest version of AppRight. If you have not already, go check the announcement post as well as install the new versions of the AppRight IO. So AppRight CLI, in order to init, let me initialize AppRight init first. I need the endpoint for me it's localhost that's fine project so let me get the project from settings i should be able to get the project id all right and finally we need a api key like server side sdk this needs a api key let me go here and then let me add a key let's call it cli let me give all the permissions and create so the secret copy and paste it here interior locale that's fine so preferences saved successfully my cli is initialized i can now run upright version so upright version needs initialization because it checks both the cli version as well as the server version as you can see the server version is 0.8.0 AppRight CLI can perform any actions that we can perform from the AppRight server side SDK. Let's first check the help. So if we run AppRight help, we can see that we have different services, account, avatars, database, functions, health, local, storage, teams, users, client, and init. These methods that we can use, each of those can again be used. So AppRight account help sorry help so 
per account we have all these methods like get delete update get logs all of these app write users help so users has list create get delete get logs get preference all these methods and if we want more information about individual method we can say users create help so here we can see we can create a new user with email password and name name is optional so let's try to create a user app write users create email dot com password cli user okay let me hit enter now i should get the output so this is the id name is empty registration date status password update all this so i can also list all the users if i do app right users list see we can see it in table if i go fully screen we can see it properly in a table we can see all the users we have quite a few users similarly we can run any other services like app right locale get continent so you can get a list of continents app right help we can see we have functions health we can check app right health get get so status okay we can see that health status is okay storage list files so if i do list files i can see all the files in my app right storage this is how easy it is to use AppRite CLI to quickly test AppRite. So you can test any functionalities of AppRite that you can test from server side SDKs using all these functionalities. Also, not only this, you can use the AppRite CLI with GitHub Actions to automate your project using CI CD. And also, you can use it with any other CI CD like Travis or any other of your choice in order to automate in the description i have a link to an awesome article by trusten where he describes how you can use AppRight cli to automate the functions deployment from right from your get this is all for today's episode all about AppRight cli thank you for watching this tutorial see you again in the next episode